Republic. They're opposite. And those people uh, don't think that they don't have signs that we don't even know about. They're tapping the stuff that we don't even know. People, things that you see in the heavens, uh, you don't even know. Things that they have had, that they have grabbed. See, but see, it goes back to the ancient uh, Hebrews or the ancient Egyptians. They had great power when the people did what? Had. And when Moses confronted this, this is what we're going to talk about, that power. Uh, and uh, I'll clue you in. I'm not, I'm not, we used to do this a lot, but we're probably in the spring, we get into a uh, uh, sexual magic. But they like what these folks think. See, 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 these people do all, all, all these orgies and stuff, and then they said, man, that stuff ain't enough to sustain the organ. Organs don't last for 30 seconds. I mean, what, what else you do? You're tired of that. And it's for procreation, but it was set up as a type as a Romans 1, 19, and 20. It takes the natural to understand what? The spirit. That's a natural blindness that points to what? A spiritual blindness. So you'd be naturally blinded. The governor of New York, he's blind. See? And that's also, you can be spiritually blind. Uh, now, to be physical blind is one thing, but spiritually blind, you're in deep trouble. Okay? Because you can't see anything from a spiritual standpoint. You have no insight. Okay. Now, can you read that about the, uh, the uh, office there real quick? Actually, in 1881, Albert Pike's attention must have been on other things. His interest had been taken by the ancient Egyptian obelisk, which Lieutenant Commander Gordon... Now, who was Albert Pike? I asked some of the Masons, the brothers, some of the Prince Hall Masons, and they all the brothers, I said, man, you know what? Do you know what you're enjoying? Are you have attached yourself to? Uh, I said, let me ask you a question. Do you know who Albert Pike is? No. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you no more. The plumbers who join some and have no idea who, what some of the major founders are. See, I said Albert Pike was one of the guys that established the Blue Bus Lane during the uh, Confederate Revolution, during, during the uh, 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 Civil War. When they, uh, that he, was a, uh, 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 he fought the Indians, he was so bad against that. Uh, 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 and then uh, 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 he was, uh, he, they put him in prison. And uh, we show you how powerful it was. Johnson, one of the presidents, uh, he was part. And uh, 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 what happened was he went in and talked with uh, who's that president? President Johnson. I ain't talking about this one. I'm talking about the one doing Lincoln. And they wanted to uh, they wanted to uh, impeach this uh, impeach uh, Johnson for, for having this guy in the White. Like, what did he do to you? What did he say? It was he conferred a certain degree upon on, on the president. And, and, and that is against the what? Constitution. See, I we're talking about that. But what I was trying to show you is how history is going to, well, Albert Pike is one of the foremost uh, uh, Masons in the world. It's far, he's one of the founders one of the founders here of American uh, Masons. Okay, now, he realized that uh, they needed some power, so he had to go back and try to get these symbols and realize that one of the basic places to go was go back where? Ancient Egypt. Go back to ancient Egypt. But they were really tied into some real deep, powerful stuff. Okay, read. Lieutenant Commander Gore of the United States had just transported the obelisk from Egypt to New York, in which some scholars believe had hidden for thousands of years secret Masonic emblems beneath the banks. Now, they claim that was Masonic emblems. I mean, and this stuff would transcend that. Okay, read. After reading the description of the articles found by Gore, Pike had came to the conclusion that they did not bear any resemblance to symbols used in Freemasons. Oh, right. That stuff, that stuff predated the Masons thousands of years. Say, 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 this was, they had their own secret what? Society. Okay, now jump down to that, 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 that paragraph down further. However, this alert interest um, shown by specialists and scholars in the symbol, symbolism of the obelisk seems to have obscured, obscured the most pertinent question as to why, at this point in history, governments were troubling to employ such elaborate and difficult maneuvers to carry from Egypt to America and Europe these massive monoliths. Then why, why would they do that all at one time? The flurry of literature concerning the magical importance of the monoliths, which was continued since the early 1880s, have never answered this intriguing question. Nobody has asked that question. They didn't think of this, but he said that they believed that there was some type of magical uh, 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 forces tied in to the obelisk. And the ancient Egyptians would say that this erected obelisk was one form of drawing energy to the what? From the what? From the sun. And, 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 and the sun 
drawing our, our energy from the earth, from the sun, to the erected uh, penis, and the sun, uh, the erected penis sets on, on, on mother what? Earth. 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 Mother Earth. Mother Earth. That's the, that's the fourth. That's the female. Mm -hmm. That's the female. So you have the sun, and you have the obelisk. Oh, you call it the monolith here. And you have the Mother Earth. Can you read? Okay, it says, um, could those in charge of such enterprises have recognized the connection between the obelisk dedicated to the solar guy of Egyptians and the new planetary moon Michael, who was the of the sun? Okay, so 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 he says that the see the Egyptians knew that this obelisk was attached to the what? To the sun. There's a direct attachment to the sun. It was all over the place. See? Because the sun, remember this, what, what gender would you give the sun? Man. Man. It's a man. Mm -hmm. And see, what it's doing is excretion various forms of energy to, uh, to the mother of what? Earth. Earth. So this, the, the sun would be likened to a penis doing what? Erecting what? Sperm. The sperm here is this energy. Various forms of energy to go into the earth and do what? To procreate. So they knew that this, that, that this thing here would have something to do with procreation. And we're not talking about, when we say procreation, when I say procreation, I'm not talking about, you know, babies running around here. See, they were looking at the greater power. We're going to show forth just a moment. We're going to be on. Madam Blavatsky, right at the same time as Pike committed that the spiritual beings who ruled the ages were the prototypes of Oh, we ain't going down that They're not even going from the left hand. So they're dealing with seven spirits, meaning like the revelations. But that was during this period that the people were very deeply all caught. And they, they, they realized that they, they went back to ancient Egypt to, to get these particular objects of power to perform their own rituals. See, and to designate not only that they had power, but they were only, they also, they, that they were also tapped into what? Power. I'm not talking about physical power. Now, to demonstrate that, that since they did have this power, what do you think the H-bomb was created where? Here in America. Again, the symbol of the, the land of the erected pieces. So the top of the pyramid. Yes, the top of that. When we get to that, this one, the top of the pyramid. Right, exactly. But when was that? She can look out in D.C. Okay. Now, we got, we, got, we got that understood. I want you to be now... Uh, Let's read this thing up real quick. I want you to go uh, and read something. I can explain it, but I'm going to read something. This is David I. Once we are able to understand, and I'm going through the migratory. So when we got to aside, the most who let this book burning go, she didn't give him permission to come back down to the land of Egypt. He didn't give the name Yahweh. See, Aya asked Aya, which means I will be what I will be. And he, and he tapped in. And he told Moses about this rock. See, they'll get back to that rod again, see, you see. See, and he sent Moses back down in the land of Egypt. And when Moses got back down in the land of Egypt, uh, 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 Yahweh said, Yahweh, he's certainly with me. He had Moses there to come back down here. And he confronted Pharaoh and his magicians down here. And immediately, uh, he told, uh, 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 they confronted Pharaoh. And one of the signs that, that, they were, that they were demonstrated with the rod, see, uh, was that rod turned into what? A serpent. Again, that's pro what? That's procreation. See? Zach Rod turned in the Egyptian said that Pharaoh was going to have some big pain. Their magician was able to do what? The same what? The same thing. But Moses is right. It's an Aaron's rod swallowed. I'm not going to read that. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, I don't even get that when it said their rod swallowed up uh, 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 the. the uh, uh, a magician's rod showing for their power was what? Greater. There was greater. And then as the thing went on, uh, I'm jumping ahead of myself, uh, when they were finally let go, the institution of the Passover, the death angel passed through here. When they came back to the divided the, the, the when they came to the divided waters of the Red Sea, came to the water of the Red Sea, uh, Yahweh told Pharaoh, I mean, Yahweh told Moses to raise his what? Raise his rod. 